Hey everyone, it's Ryan Hartwig here. Uh, just wanted to give you a quick update about what happened today. So James O'Keefe's uh, Twitter account got suspended. Um, so we're gonna talk about that today. And just a quick update as well, my, my Twitter account still suspended, got suspended in late January. So I just sent a, um, I just sent a, a letter to Twitter headquarters and, and a complaint to the Arizona Attorney General. So I'm waiting to hear back from, from them. Uh, so that's that's my my other Twitter account, Real Ryan Hartwig, that's suspended. I had thirty five thousand followers. Uh, so I have the um, this Hartwig Foundation for Free Speech, which I just created a Twitter account for. Uh, but yeah, guys, feel free to uh, donate. I just applied to, for five hundred one c three status, and uh, so you can make tax deductible donations. So sorry, I moved the camera, so now my camera is right here. Uh, so feel free to yeah visit my webpage RyanHartwig.org. You can support me in a lot of different ways. Uh, I've got a PayPal, Venmo, Patreon, Cash App. Um, so yeah, feel free to check that out, ryanhartwood.org. And then, um, yeah, so here's the news for today. Uh, so Project Veritas says Twitter locked its founder O'Keefe's accounts over um, over Facebook freezing comments videos. So this is, wow, yeah, this is just really surprising. Well, it shouldn't be surprising, right? But uh, looking at what they're doing, so it was a video that showed... Uh, Christian Hart Sock, senior journalist at Project Veritas, um, approaching Guy Rosen outside of his house. So you see Guy Rosen approaching. Um, let me let's pull up, pull up the video here. So, oh, let me fix the the audio there real quick, guys. All right. So this is the video the VP of integrity at Facebook. When you talk about freezing comments containing hate speech, what do you mean by that? We have a system that uh, is able to freeze commenting on threads in cases where our systems are uh, detecting that there may be a thread that has hate speech or violence sort of in the comments. How do you define hate speech? Is it just speech that you hate? Are you freezing your own comments now? So, so I don't see anywhere that okay. containing hate In, speech freezing oh, comments you know what they got them for look here this is what they got them for look containing hate see so you can see the number the house number right there um that's probably what they got them for one six something eight so that's what so that's probably what they got them for and you can see the house number there one six one eight i think so that's probably they probably should have blurred that out so um that's probably what they got them on for and i'll, I'll show you the, the facebook um, public policy right now. Well, I know this is Twitter. I know Twitter suspended them, but they, a lot of times they use the same or similar policies. So um, that's probably why they got suspended because you can see the house number. Um, but you, you don't really know where, but like this is San Francisco. I'm assuming San Francisco. Then um, yeah, then it's possible to track down Speech. his house. What do you mean? Yeah, one six uh, the one six one eight. Yeah. So if I were to go to Google Maps and do one six one eight, which I'm not going to do right now, what do you mean? Um, I could probably what do you mean find... by that. Yeah, that's, detecting that's that what maybe... happened. So that's why their account got suspended because they published the one six one eight house street street number. So here's the um, here's the policy at Facebook at least. It's still, it's not the Twitter policy, but it's it's what I'm familiar with, and it usually uh, the policy at Twitter is very similar. So residential information imagery that displays the external view of the private residence. So yes, they did that. And then the residence is a single family home or the residence house number is identified in the image caption. So we have we that we have that. And then but for this it says all the following conditions have to apply. So at least for Facebook's policies, we have this this is we have this, the, the unit number is identified. But we do not have the city or neighborhood identified. We do; they do identify the resident, Guy Rosen. Um, the same resident ex objects to their exposure. I don't know if he objected or if there's a channel for him objecting, or does he have to reach out to Twitter? And this does not include embassies. Um, okay, so yeah, that's the Facebook policies. Twitter might have stricter guidelines, and maybe with Twitter just exposing the the uh, the unit number of the residents is enough for Twitter. So that's my take on um, what happened. 
But uh, I mean, this is what journalists do all day, every day. They approach people we outside have their homes. How do you define so, hate speech? It's it's very questionable what what Twitter did. And Twitter, um, James O'Keefe has has what like uh, a million followers. Let's search James O'Keefe. James O'Keefe. Yeah, it's not pulling up. Uh, Prague Veritas has Twitter account locked. Yeah, nine hundred thousand followers. So that's a pretty big deal. You know, you think they'd treat him fairly, but of course they're not going to treat him fairly because of what yeah, he does. He exposes their bias. Um, all right, guys, that's my video for today. I hope you had it, enjoyed it. I'm a, once again working on getting my my mic in, in better quality um, and upgrading my mic. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Uh, make sure to follow me on Gab and and Telegram uh, at Real Ryan Hartwig on both platforms. That's at Real Ryan Hartwig. All right, thanks. Have a great day.